When we first visited Dutch Slough in eastern Contra Costa County last year, the recently restored tidal marsh was already flourishing. But hiding among the reeds was a critical question. How effective would the marsh be at sequestering carbon, a key benefit of restoring wetlands in the age of climate change? And we're trying to inhale more carbon dioxide, and they're exhaling oxygen that we, we need. Dennis Baldaki is professor of biometeorology at the University of California. His team placed sensitive instruments in the slough to measure greenhouse gases and other data in multiple ways. He says the results, after more than a year of monitoring, show that the tidal marsh is acting as a powerful carbon sink, drawing CO2 into the ground where it should remain sequestered instead of contributing to climate change. I'd say we're probably in the one percentile, upper one percentile of the ecosystems in the world that have the largest amounts of carbon dioxide taken up over a year. And as a comparison to that benefit, Karen Thorne and her team from the United States Geological Survey helped take additional measurements, discovering that while the surrounding farmland is still emitting greenhouse gases, the new tidal marsh is sequestering CO2 at an even faster rate. Pulling in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere 10 times faster than the pasture lands. While Dutch Slough is clearly a success story, it didn't happen overnight. And the work that went into it could hold lessons for other restoration projects up and down the state. First, the California Department of Water Resources excavated the channels and leveled the soil. After that, teams pre-planted some 25,000 tule plugs along with 50,000 trees and shrubs. And finally, after the plants were established, crews broke the surrounding levee, creating the marsh. And then the benefits, once you have the plants, are going to be really big and they're going to come really quickly. Letitia Grenier has created guides for tidal marsh restoration for the San Francisco Estuary Institute. She says a key question has been whether the added restoration work is worth the time and effort compared to less expensive strategies that allow the tidal marshes to form over time. So that's going to be the biggest question about how long until you get those benefits coming back. And then the benefits, once you have the plants, are going to be really big and they're going to come really quickly. With pressures now ranging from climate change to flooding to sea level rise, the value of tidal marshes could be critical to California moving forward.